it's a pretty interesting track, 2.4 miles, um, a lot of lefts, rights, ups, downs. Just kind of take us through it. What, what are we feeling? What are we seeing uh, when we're going around? So basically this track is very, uh, very technical. If you mess up one corner, you're going to mess up a couple after it. So uh, the really important thing here is kind of almost run as perfect as you possibly can. It's, you can't do it quite perfectly, but you can get really, really close to it. So uh, our big thing here is just anticipate what the elevation is going to do and uh, just hope that your car sets exactly how you want it to. And after you do it a couple times, you can kind of play with how it's going to set after you go over a crest or something like that. But uh, it's very, just very technical. And if you don't get the line just right, you'll be out to dry. Talk a little bit about the braking zones. You see a lot of times the three, the two, the one, 300, 200, 100. Um, just kind of take us through that. What are you as a driver uh, using that as, as a sign board, sign point for you? So uh, basically with the uh, brake markers, it's if you don't have a landmark, if there's like, if you brake at, in the cones, then you can use the cones. But a lot of times when you come into a brake zone, they're set so deep for like IndyCar or those guys that you have to use your own personal markers. Or sometimes you can just go off the actual brake markers, which is actually really nice. But uh, there are several times where it's kind of like, okay, I'm in between these two markers, you can break down. But it was, uh, when you start driving the brake sections, if you've never done it before, you just kind of walk it deeper and deeper until you kind of hit that pucker moment. And then you can just kind of work in that area and uh, just work it from there. 